very thankful to be here tonight and do appreciate all the good singing that we've had and appreciate uh, you've called in and appreciate the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible tells us there's but one name given under heaven and and that's his name and and not other names but his name and that a man can be saved and I've been out there answering the phone and took several calls and and you know uh, people's in law got a lot of need tonight and some of them has got a lot of sickness and uh, some of them has got uh, uh, sin sickness in their life and I asked them to sing that one song there uh, getting at the feet of God and 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 getting at the feet of God and you know uh, there's some friends of ours uh, that lives up the road across the hill from us and you know I, I think a lot of them and think a lot of all their friends for his at but some of them need to get at the feet of God and I mean uh, they need to be saved and if they want to be fulfilled in life and to be happy uh, uh, you know it's more than watching us on TV uh, once a month or something like that uh, there's more to it than that I, I mean uh, you could watch every religious program that there is and still die and go to hell but you know uh, uh, we have a lot of friends that's lost and that without God and they need to be saved and you know if you'll get at the feet of God you can be forgiven and if you'll get at the feet of God you'll go to Calvary and if you'll go to Calvary then you can be forgiven of your sin and you know that's how things is and uh, but you'll have to get there to be forgiven that of God. And, you know, I, I wasn't able to even said anything tonight because uh, everybody seemed to be enjoying the singing tonight. And, you know, the singing was so peaceful and uh, had tons of calls out there from the singing and, and people enjoying it. And, you know, uh, uh, it's good. It'll soothe you and it'll uh, lift you up uh, singing with. But... You know, it takes the gospel, and I, I tell people, I say, if you heard the gospel 20 years ago, uh, it'll save you today. And I mean, it's got that much power. And uh, God said his word wasn't turned to him void. And, and you know, the Bible tells us that there's a time and a season for all things, and not some things, but all things. And, you know, there's a time to preach, and there's a time to shut up, and there's a time to sing, and there's a time to shut up. And, uh, and that's how things is. I know sometimes I guess we think that people get tired, but you know, uh, of hearing us. But I, I think sometimes that's when people's wanting to hear us and uh, when we're wanting to quit uh, uh, doing what we need to do for the Lord. And, and if you have your Bible out there tonight and you would like to read a little short scripture with us, share a little of scripture. And, and I said short, it's a pretty long piece of scripture, but my thought today, I, I've been meditating upon something this whole day, and I've been meditating on the last mile of the way. That's a song, I know, but I, I've been meditating upon what people's going to do on the last mile of the way. You know, there'll come a day that my breath will stop and yours will stop, and as Job said, my steps will run out or your steps will run out. And, and you know what? Uh, uh, you'll need something besides uh, the things of this world. And if the only thing you've got is the things of this world, then, uh, friend, it will perish. But you know what are you going to do at the last day, at the last hour, at the last breath? Uh, who can you call on? Can you call on uh, the Lord Jesus? I, I've sat by the bedsides of the them that have died and left this world and, and watch them heave their life's breaths and give their life's breath up and their soul would leave their body and, and you know they die and leave this world and, and I heard some of them before they left this world that they would call upon the Lord and say uh, come and get me I, I'm ready for you if you're ready for me I, I'm ready for you and you know a lot of people can't say that today they, they're 
lost and undone without God's only Son. And when he comes the last mile of the way, uh, uh, there'll be a crying for mercy and there'll be no mercy there. Uh, uh, but Jesus talked about some folk, and if I do nothing else but to read this to you, uh, I'm going to read this to you. It's in Matthew chapter 25 and, and verse 34. We're going to read quite a few verses there. And I felt the very impression of the Spirit to read this. If I don't preach on this, uh, uh, it ain't that we can't preach or nothing else. But like I told you, there's a time for all things. Matthew uh, chapter 25 verse 34. He said, Then shall the king say unto them on the right. Now there's going to be a separation here. Uh, he tells us that uh, in verse 32, And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from the other, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And, and he'll set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left hand. Then shall the king uh, say unto them on the right, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For for I was a hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in, uh, and naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited.